Hey guys, what's happening? Check it out. Do not for up score. At least to me, I think it's a score. Um, just a box of old um, CV stuff. So, yeah, I've been actually looking at this for a while. I mean, I, uh, probably like, maybe like almost two months. And uh, I really, I just want really one component in this box and I'll go through it. But um, take a look. Yeah. So, 50 bucks for the lot. Offer up. So, this is actually kind of an interesting story, too. Um, is This is a present CB radio. Um, these were actually pretty high end radios. So, present makes some of the better higher end CB radios. Um, but what's interesting about this one is. Alright, so, yeah, take a look at this. I'm going to be careful with this, actually. So, the guy in the, in the description said this thing had the SSB mod. Which I've never even heard of. I was even trying to Google it and I couldn't figure out what he was talking about. But I saw these couple switches on the side, so I'm going to make individual videos about some of the components here. Um, I'll take this apart and try to figure out, test it. Uh, because right now I don't even have a power cord for it. So I'll have to order one of those. But yeah, no, presents, you know, a good good radio. So um, yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm not going to be buying typically a CB radio if it doesn't have SSB. Like I have another SSB radio coming in. Um, I'm not really, I mean, I, I'm more of it to like, I'm more, I like, I'm more of it for the technology. So I do have a lot of ham radios. I made a lot of videos about ham radio stuff, but I really don't have a desire to get licensed for ham radio just because I'm not going to be talking on the radio. I'm just more interested in the technology is more, it's kind of interesting to me, but I don't picture myself talking on the radio. Um, it's more of like a backup plan, sort of like emergency prepper type situation, you know? Um. All right, let me take a look at this thing, and I'll, I'll save the, the, the final one for last. So this is an old school um, Craco handheld CB radio. All right, so this is a 40 channel. They call it Mayday One. <laughs> I think I remember these things actually when they came out. Like because I mean I've been I'm, I'm, I'm like 49 now, but um, I mean I grew up in a time when there was no cell phones, so. This is, I mean, during for emergencies, you that's how you communicate. You couldn't, there was no cell phones. So if you wanted to communicate between vehicle to vehicle, it, it was, you know, it was it was this, it was CB. So, um, all right, so yeah, this is interesting. It has like a, you know, obviously 12, it's not even battery powered. So maybe I could make a battery pack for it. But I'm going to save the best for last, at least to me. Um, came with like some... So with the radio, it came with this extension, so like a cigarette lighter, plug in, and uh, also like this uh, overhead mount, but it doesn't have your typical like mount, your typical like a uh, CB mount. I got the name of it, but it goes into the bottom here. Um, so I might put that in my wife's car, you know, give her like a backup plan, you know, just because, you know, if the cell phone towers go down or whatever, we'll, we'll designate a channel, what to communicate on. I mean, we're no, we're not, you know, we're pretty much no longer further apart than like 10 to 20 miles tops. So it could be possibly a range. Um, all right, another cool thing too is check this thing out. Um, this is a car antenna booster. So it has your, your car like radio type antenna connection on one side. Then you have the female side on the other side. So this is interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna look look more at this thing and try to figure this one out. That'd be cool. I mean that'd be interesting. I've never even seen one of these before. So it looks like it just has like a 12 volt source power, and obviously the antenna is grounded. So um, yeah, that's interesting. So car antenna booster. All right, and finally the star of the show. Um, this is actually why I bought the lot. Is this. I mean, it's definitely not that clean. Has broken switches. It's a Palomar 100 watt linear amplifier. Um, so I'm guessing this guy, the guy, probably had this working in conjunction with this President Radio, even though this is actually illegal to you transmit on uh, on CB. It even says on the back of it. Yeah, it says uh, FCC regulations prohibit the use of this unit on CB Class D or citizens, yeah, citizens radio service. All right, CB. Um, all right, so this is going to need a lot of work. 
And there's actually a lot of other people that made videos on these online. So, yeah, I'm going to go through them and clean this whole thing up. Probably re replace the capacitors on it. Go through them all. And, uh, yeah, this will be interesting if we get this going again. I, I might even actually have some switches, too. Um, because I actually, a long time ago, I had bought a, like a, like a lot somewhere. I had bought out like a, like a, some, I think it was like a TV repairman or something again. I mean, probably 20 years ago, but it was maybe 25 years ago. I bought a lot at some garage sale, some guy, I think he used to repair TVs or something or stereos or something. But so I got a lot of ton of old school, like switches and, um, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, it looks like, okay. It looks like you put like a wood screw. Yeah, different kinds of screws. So I'm going to clean this thing all up. Um, make it look pretty cool. So, yeah, that's just an introductory video of this lot. I mean, obviously, this is, I mean, this is kind of, I mean, all right, some old handheld. But this is, I'm kind of mainly worried about this, getting this amplifier going. And this thing. What is this thing right here? Do you guys know what this is? I'm going to open it up later on and make a separate video about it. But he actually sent SSB mod. But then I asked, I asked him more about it, and he was like, I don't know anything about radios. Well, I mean, how did you know it was an SSB mod then? But, all right, I didn't really get into it, though. So, um, yeah, presents are nice radios. So I didn't, didn't have the power cord, so I need to get one of those. Um, but here, here's the lid for the amplifier. Looks like it's been dropped. Let's see if I can bend that back. Yeah, it looks like it was pretty dusty, man, pretty... I don't know, it looks like, I mean, obviously, this thing is probably from the 70s. All right, yeah, new wires. Yeah, even these wires feel pretty stiff. All right, guys, cool. Uh, yeah, it's 50 bucks, I'm up. All right, looks like I got some more fun projects to work on. Awesome.